Hello you guys, what is up? I am so excited to hang out with you guys today. We're gonna be going on a little adventure. I'm gonna take you guys along. We're gonna be going to North Vancouver. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit around my city. Yeah, I'm currently just still in my PJs, but that's gonna change. I'm just trying to pick out an outfit right now. I think I'm just gonna wear like sweatpants and a sweatshirt because the weather is kind of cold. So I think I wanna keep it comfy, but cute still. So I think that's gonna be the fit for today. I just finished doing my makeup. So we're gonna get changed. I think I'm gonna wear this along. I've literally been losing Stuff. Oh, it's right there. I was blending into the bed sheet. Just kidding. So I'm gonna wear just a hoodie with sweatpants and put a cute jacket over top and I think that's gonna be the fit. There's not much you can really wear when it's cold weather. I mean, you only have a limited amount of selection when you want to be comfy. It's sweatpants are, are naked, so we'll put some pants on today. So here's the fit today. I think I'm actually gonna put on this bucket hat because it kind of just makes this look really cute. So I think I'm gonna keep this on even though it's not summer, like whatever. And I'm just wearing a tracksuit with my green puffer jacket. Just a reminder that today is what you make it. If you wake up and you think that this is gonna be a bad day, then and you're only gonna recognize the bad things and if you wake up and you think this is gonna be a great day then it's gonna be a great day so wake up have that attitude or even if you're watching this at night set that intention for the next day and be like you know what tomorrow I'm gonna have the best day ever I'm gonna choose to look at the stuff that I'm grateful for so just a reminder the day is what you make of it and today it's gonna be a good day so let's go I don't know what purse I'm gonna wear to be honest maybe this cow print one but I don't know we might be like going in the forest so it might be a little bit too like you know um, not matching the foresty nature vibes. You know what, I think I'm just gonna wear my classic beige purse that's downstairs, so they're waiting for me to leave, so. Okay, so this man's beside me has like a fast food microphone on and I don't know what he's doing, so I'm guessing that he's not gonna judge me. Talking to the camera, but like at the same time, who gives a shit? I can't keep thinking what people can- what the hell? I can't keep caring what people think about me and you shouldn't either. Obviously it takes time to stop caring about what other people think about you. You just, you just gotta do it, especially like with vlogging and everything, it's hard because it's like people stare. You just gotta get over it and it'll be fine. We took up Starbucks, Madison and Joel. Madison is my sister. <clears throat> She's just getting our drinks right now i'm just waiting in here because we have like all our shit in here so we didn't want to leave the car i ordered the new it's like the brown sugar oat milk shake drink i don't really know what it's called so i can't wait to try that and yeah it's iced so it should be good i've never really had anything from starbucks that i don't like so it should be good and it's good to try new things he literally has a fast food microphone on like you know those ones that had the earpiece with like the buttons i don't know what he's doing i really don't know what he's doing i don't want to stare but no judging Oh, they make pre-mix it for me. Did you ask for it like this or did it come no, to it comes, comes like that. Kayla. Oh, I love it. Okay, this is so nice Prince because- It's shake and espresso. Whenever I get the caramel macchiato, it's so annoying to mix it, to oh, be honest. Oh, this is so good. Let me try. What did you get? The strawberry side lemonade. Nice. <gasps> this is so good. Anyways, we're going to drive now. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. Anyways, okay, we're going to drive now. All right, so we just got here. We're at Deep Cove in North Vancouver, and it's my first time here, I think. I don't think we've ever been here before. So we're just gonna explore around. Look at the beautiful mountain view. It's literally so gorgeous here. So let's take you on a tour, even though I've never been here myself. Here go. Actually, I really need to go pee, so we're gonna do that first. The washrooms are right here. What a cool kidding. We didn't even try to find them, and they disappeared. I actually cannot believe that I've never been here before. It's kind of funny because I feel like when you live in your own city, you don't discover it. Like you want to go discover other places, but then you just don't look around in your city. And I feel like this pandemic has pushed people to discover their own city, which is good because there's just so many places here in Vancouver that I've never even been to and they're so beautiful. And it's like, how have I never been here? So yeah, this is a sign for you to go and discover your own city and discover some places that you've never been to. That should be the first thing Like you should discover your own city before you go anywhere else and discover that because you live there. So yeah, it's so beautiful here. It's Madison's birthday on Sunday. So it's in four days, she's turning 18. How does it feel? Um, I mean, it feels like my birthday was last week because of COVID. Like it just went skip from March to March. But yeah, there's been no separation from last March to this March. It's actually crazy. Oh, so pretty. He's like watching us. He's watching us. He's literally watching us. 
What if no, he pushes us in the water? My vibe. What a piece of shit. I need to tell you guys after, but I'm scared right now. Where are you from? Right here. Yeah. Um, let's see. Middle of a pandemic, and you're leaving that area to come to this area when everybody's isolating? Smart move. We're just outside, though. Oh, okay. And the kids aren't getting it now, neither, right? And we only need one vaccine, and fucking masks aren't mandatory. You're right. Carry on. Okay, now that we walk far enough away, I'm gonna tell you what happened. So there was like this little boardwalk and it was just like on the water. So we wanted to go walk up it and it was like narrow, but there was no one on it except for this one guy who was walking off of it. So we start to walk on it and then he like approaches us. He gets this close and he's like, six feet, you guys are not six feet away. Look at how narrow the boardwalk is. You're not six feet away. Do you have a boat? Are you going on your boat? Then why are you on here? And he was like coming up to us saying, we're not six feet away. When he was like coming in our faces, like you're the one coming close to me. Meanwhile, there are no signs that say that you can't go on it. He's like, no loitering, no loitering. And like, obviously if it was full, we wouldn't have just walked on it, but it, there was nobody on that little boardwalk. Joel started saying something like, "What? Like you're the one coming close to us. And then he just cussed us out. And then he left the boardwalk and he was watching us walk along it. And then when we came back, he started talking again. He's obviously like drunk or he has something wrong with him. Honestly, I just feel bad for him. He was definitely drunk or something because he was swearing. There was no one on there, like social distancing from who? And it's like, if, if you're telling us to be six feet away from you, don't be coming closer to me. And why aren't you wearing a mask then? Like that that's your problem. But you know what? I'm gonna send my good vibes his way. If you're watching this, which you're definitely not. <laughs> Boy, you think he I has a Wi-Fi? I don't think he has the internet. I send good vibes your way anyway, because you need to recuperate from whatever's going on. Anyways, we're leaving that in the past. We're gonna continue our venture out here in Deep Cove. What are you doing? I'm trying to skip some rocks. Ready? This is gonna be shit. Oh, oh that was good. Oh, Ooh, that was really good. So Michaela just told me to film her skipping oh, one. Babe. I don't know. We'll see what happens, I guess. I cut a rock. Yeah. This is probably not gonna be successful at all, but how do you do it? Just like a frisbee? Yeah, like yeah. Let's see, folks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> plop it goes. We don't need to try again. I think this is good. Okay, ready? Yeah. It was, it was okay. I had a little skip. It's okay. This okay. one's kind of big. you guys so we're done at deep cove we walked around it's such a beautiful day gotta be thankful for that and now we're about to go to british properties yes it's basically a neighborhood where very rich people live and there's apparently amazing houses there so we're gonna go and take a look at those houses and they're probably like what 10 million each so i'm excited to see these houses because apparently it's like a rich 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 neighborhood so i'm gonna be coming in here with my mazda 3 they're gonna be like she doesn't belong here It is literally insane up here. Like the view that these houses have overlooks all of Vancouver. Like it's literally echoey up here because we're on a mountain. This is insane. Holy shit, I wish you guys can see this in person. This is where you're gonna catch me living one day. These are definitely at least 10 million. Like especially like the bigger houses. Kidding? These aren't even like the nicer houses behind me. You should like, oh my gosh. Are oh, and there's literally a private lake in the middle of like these houses. Yeah, it's and we're so on a sick. Holy shit. And it's so low key. You can't like just go there because it's literally like your own private lake. Wow, you can see everything so we're currently <laughs> at what's it called lensdale key at waterfront park Stop. we are just gonna walk around browse and watch the sunset here So we are currently in like this building at Lonsdale Key. It's like a little shopping center, but it's kind of like, it's not a mall, but it's kind of like a little small businesses everywhere and like little gift shops and stuff. And it's so cute. I don't know how I've never been here. It reminds me of when I went to Newport and it's just so cute in here. Oh my God. Don't. 
like, oh my god, my face is like, <laughs> everything's just a blur. Hello, you guys, what is up? We're at Waterfront Park and we just set up a blanket. We have some snacks and we're gonna watch the sunset. It's literally such a beautiful day. So, you know, gotta be grateful for that. In my first video that I did of moments by Michaela, I meant to do moments with Michaela, but then I just accidentally said bye. So we're changing it, okay? Moments with. Michaela. So a little episode of moments with Michaela. I wasn't gonna do it in this vlog, but you know what? It just feels right. And you know, when something feels right, you just gotta do it. Don't let something negative affect your whole day. Like if you wake up and let's say you stub your toe and then you're like, oh shit, that hurts. And then it makes you in a bad mood. Don't let that bad mood affect you for the whole day. Because like I was saying earlier, you are the director of your life. You can control your mood and not let it affect you. So if you stub your toe when you wake up, you can be like, oh shit, ow, this hurts. But I'm not gonna let this ruin my day. Once you let it ruin your day, and once your energy becomes negative, then negative things are just gonna keep happening to you because that's the energy that you're gonna be attracting. So if you stub your toe in the morning, brush it off and be like, you know what? Only positive things can happen for me to me from here. And then you will have a positive day. So yeah, that's just something that I've learned. But yeah, so just don't let negative things that you can't control that happen affect the rest of your day. Let it pass, let it move on. Your attitude does make a difference and that's how you're gonna attract more positive things instead of more negative things coming your way. That was my little speech of the day, my little TED talk. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we're just gonna chill here, eat some Pringles, eat some chips, and watch the sunset. I hope I'll be your